I remember the day that I knew I had to figure it out. It was a hectic day in the clinic, but it wasn't a bad day. I was enjoying my patients, and I really enjoyed my colleagues. But it was a busy day, stressful, and that's probably why I wasn't getting out of there until after 7 o'clock in the evening. And I remember walking out of the clinic door and feeling that breeze on my face and noticing that it had been a sunny day. And I remember thinking to myself, I didn't even look outside once today. You might be able to relate to that. And I had a headache. I was exhausted. I was mentally drained. My body hurt from hunching over a computer all day. And when I thought back on the day, I, I was really just wasn't even sure it made a difference at all. And it was at that point that I remember thinking, man, I hope this is not my last day on this planet because this is not how I want to be spending my life. And it was that day that I knew I had to figure it out. Welcome to Retire Your Limits, the podcast for women who are ready to rewrite the rule books and redefine what it means to retire. I'm your host, Gayla Beyer, nurse practitioner turned wellness coach for retiring women. You now, planning this next chapter of our lives can be overwhelming. At least I know it was for me. This podcast is about putting you first, challenging the norms and unlocking what's possible for you as you step into this new era of retirement. So ready to retire your limits? Let's dive in. You see, I really wanted to retire. I wanted freedom. I wasn't ready to quit working completely. I felt like I still had more to share. And I had some ideas for how I wanted to do that. But there was this committee in my head telling me that I should stay right where I was. And so I did. And I didn't talk about it. And it was lonely. Most of the other women that I knew around me were well, heading down more of a traditional retirement path. And I just couldn't see a way forward. I wished that I had the insight and the knowledge to understand that I had options, that there was another way. And that's why I created Retire Your Limits, the podcast for women who want to retire, but they're not sure what that looks like. They want or maybe need to work for a little bit longer, but don't want to work full time. For women who have big dreams in their retirement, but they feel like just kind of pipe dreams at this point. And for women who have been so busy and so distracted with their career that they've just kind of let themselves go and aren't feeling well and really just want to get their energy back so that they can do the things that they want to do. In this first podcast series, Finding Success and Fulfillment in Retirement Planning, I speak with guest experts in the field of health and wealth, two of the areas that I think are most important when planning your retirement, as well as inspiring guests who have redefined retirement for themselves, taken a bit of a non-traditional approach, and are now thriving in their next chapter. In the first episode, I speak with Nicholas Peel, a financial planner who takes a holistic approach on retirement planning. Tell me why you have such an interest or passion in health and wellness with retirement planning. Oh, first and foremost, if you don't have your health, there's not a lot you can really do to enjoy your life. There's that saying, she who has her health has many wishes and she who doesn't has just one. I love Nicholas's approach to financial planning. It's not just about the money. It's about weaving your life's passions into your financial preparedness. Nicholas talks about how our aspirations hold the power to shape our retirement shifting the focus to the meaningful experiences and the personal growth that truly enrich our lives. I also speak with Allison Wood, a therapist who owned a thriving practice, who underwent a transformation as a result of the pandemic. Allison shares how unexpected circumstances can sometimes lead to remarkable shifts. I think that I was just on autopilot. I was working a lot. I wasn't realizing the impact of it. I remember going to a party and getting phone calls on a Saturday night at nine o'clock. 
and my friends saying, this isn't normal. Like people don't work this much normally, but I just was so caught up. I didn't even notice. And I wasn't aware of my health. I gained quite a lot of weight and just overall wasn't feeling well, wasn't sleeping well, but I wasn't really thinking about why. She shares how she slowed down, put her health front and center, and embarked on a journey of introspection, which ultimately led to semi-retirement and starting a passion business. We talk with Dr. Carrie Horn, a chiropractor, coach, and movement expert who teaches classes, including Tai Chi. During our conversation, we shine a spotlight on the importance of movement and staying active as we age gracefully. I recommend a variety of exercise and that's be because each piece has a part to play in how we move and how we're going to be able to adapt in that movement. So one of the biggest ones that I think women kind of have shied away from over the years has been strength training. Intriguingly, Tai Chi has emerged as an exceptional practice that incorporates strength, balance, mindfulness, and grace into one beautiful practice. If you've ever tried to move your arms very slowly or move your body and your legs very slowly walking, you know that it takes coordination and balance and some strength to be able to do that. And doing this over a half hour, 45 minute session actually becomes quite a workout that you are incorporating all this slow motion, but it's being held over time. And we talk with Mary Tung, who owned a construction business for 25 years and decided to make a pivot and took the three areas that she loved from her construction business and created her post-retirement passion business. I worked hard on coming from the gut and when I felt excited about certain aspects of Mary True, then I knew I was on the right track. Especially at this stage in our life, we were not looking to climb the ladder and that sort of thing. So I think it's okay to trust that you do have some transferable skills if you were, but I challenge people to really come from the heart. And as for me, well, I figured it out. It took a lot of deep inner work and soul searching, but it started with really getting in touch with who I am, what I'm all about, and what I want for my life. And I am now semi-retired, feeling healthy and strong, managing my passion business, and completely aligned with all that I wanted to do all those years ago in the parking lot outside my clinic. So I hope you will join us for the Retire Your Limits podcast.